what is response surface? I have just googled a few images of response surface to explain what it is. Basically, it is a way of presenting the data, um, primarily visualizing the research findings. If you have two independent variables, for example, um, humidity and temperature, and then you want to see the effect of that on human comfort, why? Uh, then the x1, x2 would be your independent variable, and y would be the dependent variable, and the visual representation of that is called the response surface methodology, response surface modeling, or simply response surface, or in short, RSM. Now, what is it? It's not really a big question. The question is, how do you learn this nice technique? So under the openeducator.com uh, slash design of experiment, DOE, I have produced step-by-step -step method in uh, learning the response surface methodology. Now, if you're familiar with the design of experiment, especially factorial design, uh, blocking confounding, fractional factorial, and regression, you can directly jump into this module nine to understand the response surface methodology. Um, if you are studying statistics, kind of very new, you can start all the way from module zero, and then these are kind of building blocks type, so um, you need the knowledge of the earlier module to proceed into the next uh, module. Uh, so um, basically it's not that difficult. Uh, this is probably one of the most useful uh, techniques in visualizing uh, research findings, and it's applied in many different fields. As you can see here, you will see all sorts of, this is PAs, chemistry any field, um, you can visualize and apply uh, these nice techniques.